For the 2005 to 2014 Mustang owner that would like some more performance out of their rear brakes or just needs to do some routine maintenance, replacing and upgrading your rear pads might be your winning ticket. In this tutorial, we are taking a look at how to replace your rear pads. We chose to install the Hawk HPS pads on our Shelby GT500 you see here. After removing the wheels, we have access to the caliper. On the back side, you will see the two bolts that hold the caliper to the caliper bracket. Remove these to be able to pry off the caliper from the bracket. The old brake pads come right out of the bracket and can be set aside. Make sure that your metal retainer clips remain on the bracket. Then push in the new brake pads to the bracket. To compress the piston back into the caliper, we found it easiest to slightly open the bleeder screw and then push and twist the piston back in with a disc brake piston tool. Some fluid may leak out, so be prepared. Make sure to leave the piston with the notches towards the top and bottom of the caliper so that it lines up with the tabs on the brake pad. Then tighten the bleeder screw and the caliper can be slid back over the pads. Also be sure the springs on the new pads are compressed by the top of the caliper. Bolt the caliper back down to the bracket and the install is finished. We do recommend replacing or turning the rotors when the pads are replaced, but this is simply a tutorial on replacing your pads. Follow the proper break-in procedure on your first drive with the new pads to ensure they perform properly for their whole lifespan. 